Brad Pitt in Moneyball, which explores the effect of statistical analysis on the fortunes of a baseball team. Yet if you've watched a reasonable number of studio pictures in the past 10 years, you've almost certainly encountered at least one that has undergone an algorithmic rewrite. One of the leading neural network consultancies in Hollywood is a British company called Epigogics, co-founded by Nick Meany, a 60-year-old film enthusiast with a background in risk management. It was set up in 2003, the same year the world first heard the term Moneyball, the title of Michael Lewis' book, later adapted into a film about the effect that deep statistical analysis had on the fortunes of the Oakland Athletics baseball team. When their manager turned his back on ingrained wisdom about how the game should be played, this was at a time when many films were not making back the enormous amounts of money they cost to make, Meany explains. And the benefit of a neural network is that it puts aside any human bias and prejudice, and just looks at what statistically inclines a film towards success. Epigogics's neural network had no idea what to make of the 2007 musical remake of Hairspray. Take the 2012 remake of Total Recall with Colin Farrell, which featured a gravity elevator that ran through the Earth's core. This was being described within the industry as the kind of fantastical spectacle no one has ever seen before, Meany says. But it was ultimately just part of the background when Epigogics ran its details through its neural network. More modest box office projection than had been anticipated emerged. It all depends on how the different elements of the film relate to each other, he explains. The set pieces don't just stand alone when Meany and his team first pitched their services to Hollywood, they were largely met with skepticism. But one executive set them a test, analyze nine screenplays of completed but unreleased films, then see how the predictions compare to the real-world results. The neural network called six of them right, including one unexpected bomb. In one case, the prediction came within $1.2 million of the final result. A contract was drawn up, and they had their foot in the door. Predicting profitability was one thing. The Next step was transforming a potentially unpopular film into a safer bet. So Epigogics developed the neural network to produce two numbers, a box office projection, and an enhanced number that might be achieved after making certain adjustments, detailed in a 20-page report. A very specific sense of place in a script tends to be an asset, Meany says, by way of example. If a film is set in Paris, we might advise the studio to rewrite a scene to incorporate the Eiffel Tower, which would increase its score, these scores are numerical values assigned by Epigogics's data crunchers. The truth is, with most films there's a ceiling on what they can make, and what we do is help them reach that ceiling. For a studio, a few smart calls can make the difference between a good year and a disastrous one. 1. Early Epigogics project was assessing the script for Roland Emmerich's prehistoric epoch 10,000 BC for an interested party. After it, was deemed fundamentally unprofitable, the studio passed. It was then made by Warner Brothers, and bombed. There are some films that prove uncrunchable. Epigogics's neural network had no idea what to make of the 2007 musical remake of Hairspray. Because it had no way of processing what the songs added to the plot. David Fincher's drama The Social Network 2010 raised many red flags because of its unlikable characters, elitist subject matter and convoluted timeline. But this was not a film whose edges were ever going to be shaved off, and Sony drove it into profit the old-fashioned way. With an extremely costly ad campaign, this squaring of creativity with profit can be fraught. Meany recalls being commissioned to evaluate the script for what would become one of the most notorious turkeys of the past 15 years behind its director's back, the report later fell into the hands of said director, who went berserk. But he rejects the charge. That neural networks are stifling creative risk, a German journalist once told me, with you, Pasolini could never have existed, he says. But that's overstating our reach. If a studio wants to make a Pasolini film, they can still go ahead and make it. Epigogics's big growth area at the moment, he notes, is prestige television, both broadcast and streaming, which is widely seen as a bolder arena than Hollywood. With algorithms shaping our entertainment and algorithms choosing it, perhaps it's no wonder we can't switch off. The 